Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop. I will be showing you how to create this awesome looking electric text effect within Photoshop. It is a very simple effect that you can apply using a couple layer masks as well as a few filters. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial and I will show you how to get this desired effect in any color that you prefer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up Adobe Photoshop and go ahead and create a new project. So go ahead and go to File New. Once you have your new project open, go ahead and title it whatever you want to title it. I'm going to call this one Electric Text Effect. And then once you're at your size specifications here, go ahead and change your width to 1000 and your height to 1000. Now, if you're wanting this to be a background for your desktop on your computer, then you need to go ahead and adjust that accordingly. So I set it to these specific dimensions just because it makes it easier to see. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now we have our new document that is open and the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure our background is set to a nice black color so you can do that a number of ways but I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this layer and I'm gonna name it BG for background and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and then once I do that I am then gonna go and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go to let's see here create new fill or adjustment layer go all the way up to solid color once I am there I'm gonna pick out my nice black color and then I will click OK and now my background color is white. Now we need to add our text so go ahead and grab your text tool okay go ahead and click on the text tool and click anywhere on your document. Now I'm using a font called Base05. I downloaded it off www.dafont.com. I'll put the link to this font in the description box below. So go ahead and type out whatever text you want to use in this specific project and I went ahead and typed out my username techguru77 now what we want to do now is we want to duplicate this text layer so we want to go over here to techguru77 which is this text layer and we want to right click on that and we want to duplicate that layer go ahead and do that now just call it a copy and then click OK once we have duplicated that layer, we then want to select the original text layer. So I have now selected the original text layer. Once I have that layer selected, I then want to go up and go to Filter. And then down here where it says Stylize, I want to go all the way down to the bottom where it says Wind. Click on Wind. It says this type layer must be rasterized before proceeding. Do you want to do this? Click OK. Once you have done that, you'll see a few settings up here. You'll see method wind and the direction from the left. Leave those to wind as well as from the left and click OK. Once we do that, you see it's blurred it a nice from the left to right wind effect, but we want to intensify this a little bit. So if you're on a Mac, press Command F or a Windows Control F one time. Once you do that, it kind of intensifies the effect just a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that another time. Go ahead and go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. This time, you're going to do it from the right. So go ahead and click from the right and go ahead and click OK. Now we want to intensify this the same amount, so go ahead and press your Command or Control F one time. Now we're good to go there. Now we have it going from left to right and right to left on the vertical or on the horizontal axis. We want to rotate this layer that way we can get it from the other side. So go ahead and go up to image, go to image rotation and go to 90 degrees CW. This will rotate your image 90 degrees. Now we're going to go up and apply the same two filters. Go ahead and go to filter, go ahead and go to stylize. Once you're there, go ahead and go to wind. Now go ahead and make sure it's from the right. It's set to wind and go ahead and press OK. Go ahead and press your command or control F one time. And then we want to go and apply it one more time. So go to filter, go to stylize, and then go to wind. Now once you use an effect so many times, you can go ahead and it shows you up here what pressing command or control F will do. That will just apply another initialization of that effect. So go ahead and do it one more time. Stylize, go down to wind, 
and then make sure it's from the left this time. So we're doing it from the right and the left on both axes, and then we're going to click OK, and then we'll do Command or Control F one more time, and now we need to go up to Image, Image Rotation, this time you're going to rotate it 90 degrees CCW. By clicking on that, it will go ahead and take the image or layer back to its original state. Now, the last thing we want to do is this is where you can get creative and customize your text. You want to add a color overlay, okay? So go ahead to your text layer here and double click on it. It will bring up the different layer styles. We now want to go ahead and select the color overlay style. And as you see, it's automatically set to red. And I really like the way that red looks, so I'm going to leave it at that. But if you would like to, you could go up here and click on the red under the blend mode right beside it. And you could change it to a nice purple. You could change it to a nice blue, whatever you want to do. So I'm actually going to leave it at this nice little purple color here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can even change the opacity, make it a little lighter, make it a little darker. Just just depending on what you want to do then go ahead and click OK and go ahead and zoom in just a little bit and as you see we have an awesome very easily made electric text effect all of this done by using filters and layer mask very easily done within Photoshop if you have any questions put them in the comment box below guys don't forget to rate like subscribe to my channel it really does help me out and as always guys if you have any questions like I have already said put them in the comment box and I will see you guys next time <music>